Hey guys, this is Ivy here again, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And this is my first custom that I'm ever going to um, paint on camera. So I'm sorry if I don't get the best ever footage. But um, this is a full that I'm going to be repainting because I won the giveaway on Rosalie Stables. If you guys didn't see that unboxing video already. And I got the same full, so I'm going to be repainting the old clover and um, be using the new clover instead because I got the same full. So um, instead of having two of the exact same fulls, I'm just going to use, um, <laughs> I'm going to repaint one. I'm going to re be repainting him as a chestnut. This is my reference photo. So yeah. So if you need a bit of a closer look, here's my reference. Thank you to a few of my viewers for um, requesting a chestnut. So, I just wanted to say that why there's a white paint splotch on him is because, unfortunately, I ran out of my normal paint. So, I had to test some new paints on him that I just got. <laughs> I just went to a local store and got it. So, yeah. But, it does work on him and it dries super quick. So, let's get into it. Okay, so I also have a, I already have a bit of this white paint in there, but I'm going to add just a little bit more. I will say that it's very hard to squeeze. Woo! Uh -huh. <laughs> but anyways. Alright, and I also added some black over here, and this black makes me a little bit concerned. It's very goopy. But anyways, we're just going to add a little bit of black into the white slowly, but surely until we want, until we get the color that we want. And I just realized that, of course, it's going to turn into gray, but I did have a little bit of brown left um, in my other paint set. So I just used the rest of that to make the right color. I couldn't get quite the color that I was looking for, pretty obviously, but it's really, really close. So we're just going to go with it. Okay, so um, I'm just going to use a different brush to paint him because that other brush was not high quality for sure. I hope it worked together mixed because I didn't know if it would. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to paint him and I'm probably going to fast forward this part. So let's get into it. Oh, and by the way, I'm just going to paint his whole body. All right, so um, I don't think I'm gonna put in all the footage of me painting him because it's a lot of footage. <laughs> but, um, so this is how he's turning out and I did realize that it says that it's glossy on the bottle. So I really hope that it's not that glossy. It's too late now, but I just painted his whole body in it. Now I'm just gonna let him dry. Sorry. <laughs> So, um, sorry for the bad lighting. I just realized it's pretty bad lighting in here. But, um, so after doing a bunch of touch-ups and letting the paint dry, it looks a lot better now. But I want to tell you guys something really important to know when you're repainting or customizing a horse or anything. Is that it's not going to turn out exactly how you want it. No matter what, how simple the horse is, the breed is, how small it is, it's not going to make a difference. It's never going to turn out exactly everything how you want it. It can turn out good, but I've never had a custom turn out perfect. And I just want you guys to know that. But if you keep fixing your mistakes, like if you make a mistake, then you can just try your best to fix it. And eventually, I hope that the custom will come together. Okay, so after that, Sorry, guys, there's a lamp in the background. Anyways, um, so now I think I'm going to paint his mane and tail because I think that's pretty important. 
All right, so um, in the reference photo, his mane and tail are the exact same color as his body. But I think that he would look a bit nicer with a black mane and tail, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I'm taking this super tiny, super frayed artist brush, because this is the tiniest one that I have. And I'm just going to take my black paint and paint his mane and tail. I'll be right back. All right, so I now have done his mane. And um, ignore all the splotchiness, because I'm going to fix that right now. So um, I touched up his mane a bit. I honestly don't think it looks any better. Like, I think it looks a little bit better, but I think his mane is just going to stay like this. I can do some touch-ups later. All right, so now I have to wait for all of this to dry. All right, guys, so now he is dry, or at least mostly dry. All right, so in the picture, the white, I mean, sorry, the horse has white socks on his back um, ankles or legs. And I think I might do white socks on mine's front legs. All right, so let's do that. All right, so I've painted on his white socks now, but um, now I have to wait for them to dry and then go ahead and do a second coat. All right, so um, I finished putting on his socks. Oh, and I just realized there's a black spot on his neck, so I'll be right back. Okay, so um, instead of fixing just the black spot, I decided to do a whole nother coat of paint on everything just because I felt like I needed it. So now he's nice, fresh, and new. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and make his eyes black, which is very stressful because if I mess up, there's really no changing it. So, um, I actually had the right to be scared because this happened and this, um, and this is from like working super hard to cover up the worst parts. So yeah, that's a disappointment, but like I said, it's not going to turn out exactly like all right, and um, I just want to say that I know that it would have been a nice touch if I did his hooves, if I had painted his hooves a separate color, but um, I have way too much trouble already painting adult horse's hooves and a full horse's hooves. Full's hooves, yeah, that's going to be hard. All right, guys, so this is his finished look. I will be putting a coat of waterproof Mod Podge on him. But, um, yeah, I mean, I think overall he's very cute and he looks very different than how he did. So, yeah. Bye, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this.